hello today we are going to change your front tire bulb and in this video I'm going to show you how 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 Okay, today we are going to change the valve on your front tire. This valve is leaking, you know, with time, with heat, with spinning, with uh, bad weather, with cold weather, this valve usually cracks, okay? It's a piece, uh, piece of rubber that with time will crack, so unfortunately you have to change it, because if not, your tire will go flat, especially when you ride in your scooter, and if you ride maybe high speed, if, they, if you lose all the air that is inside there, you might kill yourself, okay? So please keep an eye on the valves. Please, please keep an eye on the pressure of your tire. Everything is really important, okay, in these scooters. And most important is your life, my friend, okay? So to change this, you, can, you have to open up the valve, okay? Save this little tap okay so put it on the side the cut so you're not gonna lose it you know just save them and just in case you need it one day you can switch them around okay now this valve right here is leaking if you make a little pressure on one side of the other one it's going to leak what you can do you just remove it and you can break it or the right way is to get some nose plier like that you see this nose plier you go inside of the valve and there is a little, you have to twist left and you will get the valves out, the inside of the valves, okay? Okay, little by little we need to remove this inside, the inside of the valve, okay? If you remove the inside of the valve, the air will come out. This is the inside of the valve right here, okay? The inside of the valve, you might need it, need it one day. So don't throw it away, put it on the side, put it in a place where you're going to remember where it is, just in case. You know, usually I don't throw nothing away usually, because I can keep all things around, okay? And uh, one day I might need them, okay? Right after you do this one, all the air should be coming out. No. At this point, we need to remove these valves. What you can do, you just can break it like that. Okay, you take them out, I took it out. See, now you have a hole here to clean up a little bit. But anyway, from the inside, you're going to remove this one anyway. But, because I use some uh, epoxy right here around to see if I can lose uh, less hair, but now, I need to clean a little bit, okay? Now, to remove the inside of the valve and clean it, we need to squeeze this tire. To squeeze this tire, you're going to need a C-clamp, G-clamp, that's how they call it, right? You're gonna need a piece of wood to put on this side right here of the left tire. Doesn't matter, you can do this side or you can do the other side, okay? But you don't want to damage your wheel, okay? Or your brim. So, on this side, you're gonna use this one. On the other side, that is this side, you're gonna use like a piece of towel, just to squeeze the tire and go inside. Now, make sure the hole of the valve is right here, okay? So slightly move the scooter in the way that the valve is going to be right here in the center, okay? Now I'd like to show you how big is this clamp, okay? This one is eight inches, eight inches from the inside, okay? That's where it's going to start to squeeze, seven inches, seven and a half, okay? That's how big it is. And the whole thing until down here is going to be 15 inches, okay? 15, 16 inches. From here until down here. Now, 
this is a tubeless tire okay so that's the only tire you can do this job like that you're not going to do the same thing with a tire that has a tube inside okay you cannot do that now the valves that you're going to place uh, is for tubeless tire valves okay that's the one right here you can buy it at the auto part you can buy it online they're pretty cheap okay i like these ones they're all made of rubber and they're pretty good now to place them just one you only need one because this one is one in the front one in the back you need to squeeze this tire now you're going to place this one on this side you're going to pass this clamp uh, on the other side and you're going to squeeze it. now this part right here you have to tie it okay and put a little towel just in case you're going to make a hole on your tire i don't believe so but you know better be safe than sorry now when you're done right here just press that means you turn and you press the tire in okay make sure you don't damage the rim okay try to get the rim on the side okay Time, don't rush yourself, okay? Because when you rush yourself, you always make some damage. So take your time. You need to squeeze this tire. Okay, little by little you need to find a way to squeeze this tire on one side okay so you can expose the, the valve this one is the old valve and you can throw it away this is garbage okay now you're going to place the new valve that is right here that is a tubeless tire valve huh? You can 
buy the one that they are L shape or you can buy the straight ones. I like the straight ones because they're shorter. Okay? That's the valve right here. Now, remove the top side of the valve, okay? We're going to place the valve right here inside. Now you need to have a large Phillips screwdriver. So you can push in the back of this valve and you put this valve in location, okay? You can put like a little tower too so you can make a little pressure from behind, okay? Okay, right after you press the valve inside, you can put the top back on the other side, so it's not gonna come out, okay? Now at this point, you can retract the G-clamps and make the tire go back in its position, okay? Now the tire should be snapped back in its position. If it does not, you have to take a, a flat screwdriver and help the tire to go back in position, okay? Make sure when you do this one, you don't damage the rotor on the other side. Gently remove the clamp. Take your time, no rush, okay? Okay, the valve is in position right here. Okay, right after you place the valve right here, kind of press a little bit, this one, to make sure it's gonna go on the, it's gonna get wide a little bit, the base of the tire, okay? Press a little bit, massage it, okay? Massage your scooter. At this point, you will need a compressor with air, so you can attach the air right here and blow the tire. Okay, what you really need to have is about, on the front, I like 30, 30, 32. That's the pressure I really like in the front, maximum, okay? Now, everybody's got his own taste on how much pressure you like in the front. But do not go above 35, maximum. If not, you're gonna start to bounce around with your scooter, okay? So. Do this job, it's gonna take you a little time, but if you have a broken valve, this might kill you, okay? If you ride in your scooter, you lose the valve because it's broken or it's a long time that you have it and it's cracking in pieces, change the valve, okay? Now, right after, you put some air, you can close this valve. Now the way I did it, you just, you don't have to unassemble everything, you don't have to unassemble the speedometer, you don't have to get out of the brakes on the other side, so this way you just squeeze the tire enough to make sure you have enough room to place a new valve, okay? 
So just squeeze the tire, put the valve, and close it again. Massage the tire in a way that it's gonna expand, and then you put some air, okay? Unfortunately, you need to have an air compressor in your house that is gonna help you to place the tire in position again. So, it's gonna take you about 25 to 35 minutes of your time, but you're going to be safe, okay? So, try to do everything the right way. What I use to do this one, I use two G clamps, okay? One and two, okay? This one is a bar, or you can use a screw, large screwdriver, flat, to help you out just to put back the tire the way it was. Screwdriver, this one is a Phillips screwdriver to put back the valve, to press the valve in, okay? You're going to need a, a new valve, this is right here, okay? And this one is a tubeless tire valve, okay? And that's it, and you're done. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. We just finished to change the front valve at your school, okay? So, feel free to leave any comments. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Please subscribe, click like, and see you next time.